Good day to you. Andrew here. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of potassium iodate. In order to do so, I've created a nice little table to help us out. Watch how fast this is. Bam. So the first step is to write the elements that we see in the compound. So we have potassium, iodine, and oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript, just put in a one because there is assumed to be one of them. And then oxygen has three as its subscript, so there are three oxygens. Then all we're going to do is simply multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each element. Those mass are found on the table, periodic table that is. So take a look. 39.1, oxygen is 16, iodine is 126.9. So let's write them on in. So this was 39.10, iodine was 126.90, and oxygen is 16. Then what we're going to do is find the total mass of each particular element by simply multiplying this row on a cross. So the total mass of potassium here is going to be 39.10, total mass of iodine is 126.90, and then oxygen is going to be 48. Then to find the total mass of the entire compound, look, all you got to simply do is add this column on up. Easy as pie. So this works out to be 214. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in terms of grams per mole. That's all there is to it. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. It helps us out tremendously. We've got thousands of videos out there for you. Physics, mathematics, here's chemistry, right gen chem, organic chem. So we'd love to help you out with specific problems. We want you to do well in your class. Take care.